Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is God Damn It, Danny. I am joined by Mickey Rose ninety five. What's going uh, on, man? I'm not playing as a specific character right now. This is just kind of a throwaway. But I just wanted to get into this video because recently, um, as you may know, we play GTA Five M. Uh, mm -hmm. Indiana, Indiana State Roleplay INSRP uh, The description of the Discord and the link in the 5M server will be located down below in the video um, I'm going to go over some things uh, Mickey's going to go over some things um, he, uh, the, uh, What you're looking at here is some brand new vehicles for us yep. That'll be for Dickie and Mickey or just our characters personal uses only if we catch anybody with these vehicles most likely we will get staff involved because i paid for them personally yep. uh, and mickey has also paid for some of them as well uh as you see over there he's got his vehicles getting all set up um as well oh i did forget that one but anyways we'll go over the vehicles i have a list of vehicles um the website can also be found in the link below. I don't know if it's the same for every server, but you can get all these vehicles. I'm going to go over the specs, the speeds, the engines, uh, fun facts about these vehicles, where you can find them at. Um, that's basically pretty much it uh, that I can say offhand. Uh, other servers we do play in is uh, Wisconsin State Roleplay. North Georgia roleplay, uh, we just started in that. Um, we're still waiting for Central Georgia to come about. I haven't played any yet, but I know it should be online. Um, it uh, it was from, if you remember some of our old videos, uh, Deputy Bites was a good friend of ours. Yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if he's still playing. I hear multiple mixed feelings about that. Um, but if we run into him, we run into him in the future. If we don't, we don't. It's it's no skin off my nose. Uh, he was just a really good person to roleplay with. Uh, I can say I would call him a friend that I've never met. Um, but other than that, um, it start. Uh, let's see. It started off with this vehicle right here, uh, which is a VW bus. Um, let me got my paper out here real quick. What we're gonna go over. <clears throat> Um, what I actually found about um, this VW bus is we wanted it mainly for Mickey Flowers and Dickie Cheese Indeed. because because they're stoners, they're hippies, they're classic, and that's kind of why you see a lot of the VW stuff. We'll go over the character lists as well. Um, as as you see, Mickey's right over here. He's roaming around, but um, for this bus, um, I found out it is actually a 1970 VW bus um, not 1985 uh, it was also once known called as the transporter combi or micro bus uh, the engine specs on this bus is a 1600 cc which holds 50 horsepower and is a four-cylinder F flat engine um, that's the specs on the van. There's multiple customizations. There's some there's some pros and cons about this There's pros and cons all about all these cars. Yep, and, uh, uh, and the con that I found about this van me personally uh, As he's speaking about it. It's a nice van. I love it for Mickey and Dickie It is a really beautiful van, but I was role-playing in this van about maybe the first day after we got it and Me personally, I like having stuff on my car, but I took it off because I thought maybe it would fix it but then I realized it doesn't fix it. And the reason is there's extras that you can put on top of your car. And like you see in the inside right here, all the, I got all my cars with the doors open. You got all extras you can put in there. You could take all that out. There's extras for the roof too. Well, I got pulled over because I was told by using my turn signal, something spawns on the top. Now, the right turn signal, you turn it on, you can see something inside kind of disappears. You want to show them that real quick? See, the doors are shut. Yep. And then if you turn left with the left turn signal, stuff Boom. spawns on the top. Yep. So, so basically this is a nice uh, van. It replaces the Surfer 2 in here. There's nothing it's wrong good. with it. I <laughs> love it. It's just that's the only issue I have. Other than that, for making a diggy, as long as we don't use the turn signals, excellent van. That's yeah, for sure. Um, Next one I'm going to go to is on my list. It is this one right here that Mickey's got out. It is technically a 1975 Beetle. Also has a 1.3 liter engine. Equals up to 
1,285 cc, which is also 50 horsepower, um, is similar to the Herbie vehicle, which was a 1963 version and in the that's movie what Herbie. I want it. Mm -hmm. But we got this so, instead. Yep, we got this instead. It was kind of close. It's kind of mimicking it, but um, it's the best we're probably going to get. There's already a bug in game. And I'll show you the difference here because I actually have him right compact right here. Yes. This is they used this to... is this is the in-game bug, as you may know, in some of uh, Mickey's videos. Yeah, and, Mickey, and my Junior. and my channel, Mickey Sticky Flowers had a son. Well, obviously, we killed them in future videos, yep. but this was the original bug, and I and I thought this was cool when GTA added it. It reminded me of like the Herbie bug in a sense. I'm like, I wish they would have a server that had a modded bug in there. No servers ever did until we were told we could put our own bug in here and. Here's the bug. It looks kind of identical. There's certain things that are different. Obviously, it's wide-bodied and bigger than this. I can even open it up for all yep. you guys to yep. see. The doors, so difference. See on my screen, the difference between both of the bugs right there. And see in the front, it's got the tire on the GTA stock one, and mm -hmm. the real bug doesn't have a tire in the front. And now, the, now the I mean, engines will kind of look the same in the spot. Almost. But. Almost in the same. You can. Uh, I'm. I'm in first person right now, and I'm looking. And this one's definitely got. Uh, looks like turbo, two turbos, and a fan. And then you got this one over here is just kind of like a stock, gathered by belts and whatnot, yeah. old stocky stuff. Yeah, old school. Yeah, old school. This is nothing but in-game stuff. But I mean, hey, I, later on we could continue to use this bug and then you have the uh, then, front spare and the, tire and the front here. over here it looks like there's like a radiator right there if, yep. I, if I think that's what it is um, on my screen this one the hood is back down so um, oh I can't I can't see well on my end there's like a radiator there and well yeah. on this bug there's a tire there no radiator yeah the, so the engines in the in the back on most of them same with like the old VW buses and everything no uh, this bug next, next to it is basically a mimic of that bug without a top. And it's basically, you take this bug on the left to Benny's, and this is what you get. Okay. Okay. Uh, it looks like we got some nitrous back here. Maybe some hydraulics? Yeah, so I watch. I'll get, it, I'll get okay. in, and you'll see it lift up and down when I move forward. Watch. Okay. So, yeah, it is bagged. He's going to show you here. If you see on my screen, it does go up and down here. I'll let you on yours. Drive it up and okay. back and forth. Yeah, but it does is go it, up and down. Is, it's is like is it, is it bagged or does it fully have hydraulics? No, it's bagged, I believe. It's kind of like one of those GTA okay, yeah, trucks. It it's like those GTA trucks that it's, they added. Here, here's here's the thing I want to talk about now with with me just looking at this bug. For for one, I don't mind that it's uh, convertible, considering. But the fact is, like, it looks like someone literally chopped it with a saw. Um, also, a glitch. I. If I get out, I have my cowboy hat on. I get in, and it takes it off. Oh, that it looks it looks it looks retarded because it's it supposed to act as it's supposed to have a hood. Or but a roof. but if you get a GTA vehicle that's topless, you're gonna spawn without your hat on, regardless. So it doesn't matter. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh god. Even gotcha. if you get in one of these vans or trucks right now. Yeah. It, yeah. Every. It, yeah. And so I it, noticed that even with my cop character with the hat. It's whatever. just it's just a GTA thing. It's nothing uh, with the vehicle. Okay. It's a GTA thing, folks. Gotcha. I'm not. I mean, it's 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 not a bad looking car. I yeah. like it. I like um, I liked it because it was different. I'm like, ooh, that's a topless. I see the specs on it. I have are kind of similar to the yellow bug we have over here. Actually, it has the same engine, uh, 1.3 liter, uh, 1285 cc, which is up to 50 horsepower. Um, it but this is a bagged VW Beetle bug, and it's 1966 and not 1975. All right. Uh, next. Now, this is like Mickey and Dickie taking the bus to Benny's and saying, we just want to get it fixed. And he's saying, or, I gotcha. And then it comes <laughs> out like this. Or we just went to, um, uh, the Vagos went to Benny's and got us this bus. Right. Um, let's see. And the, this bus, to be honest with you, I tested it out. It's not a four-seater, mm. but it's a three-seater. What? Yeah. That's weird. So okay. if you so if you cycle the seats, go in the back. You can only go into one back seat. Oh, that's 
weird, but yeah. it, it, because as you're looking at it, you have so many seats. I know that, that's here. what that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, like yeah. you got so many seats for people to sit in there. But hey, that's it's great. better than the older bug where it's only a two seater. Right. And, uh, mm. and and me personally, when I was thinking about it, when I was able to swap into the back seat, I was thinking of Mickey, Dicky, and their new buddy Ricky. Ricky, yeah, Mickey, Dicky, and Ricky. That's uh, all we this need. One, this one is a 1967 VW T1 Samba bus, also known as a Micro Slam bus. has a 1.5 liter engine in there, a 53 horsepower at full max capacity. Um, I if, like it. it if you look at the engine, clean. this engine's really low to the ground, like the bug oh, over yeah. there. Yeah, we have to crouch here a little bit and get down under there and look. I don't know. Who in the hell thought it'd be a good idea to stuff a little itty bitty engine way down there? Volkswagen did. But, but yeah, Volkswagen did. <laughs> <laughs> they and sure did. Freaking, and freaking people. But I love mm -hmm. this is how many seats it has. It's just I do spacious. too. I, I wish we could use them all. I wish we could use more. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna test that out. Actually. Yeah, like, you, you can that. go to the back seat. Watch, test it out. Uh, you, you go to uh, the back seat, but you only go right. to the first one. Driver seat. Passenger seat on the back seat. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I was um, also uh, since since we got this one, tell me about the uh, features that you noticed on it already of the uh, colors and schemes and stuff. So with the colors and schemes and whatnot, I'll go to my F1 menu right here. So if we go to the vehicle options and say we're going to the vehicle colors, I found this out now. It also works with other vehicles in the server, but I found it on this one. So say we're choosing our uh, primary color, which would be the bottom. So say I want to get this color and lava red. And then I go down here and then I go to the classic color and I'm changing the color. Well, on this on this particular uh, model of the VW uh, style, I noticed that it gives you uh, 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 like a clear coat style. Where on certain cars, like say if we had the uh, bus next to us, say we have it yellow and we make the clear coat back, I mean black. It's basically when the sun shines onto it, it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like one of those glossy glows where you'll see yellow, but that sun. Like a metallic. Is, yeah, like a metallic. So then, if I change that metallic and go here. Oh, see, look, we see, and we're we're seeing the uh, the pinstripe yeah. is glowing. And if you look at the top where the sun's shining on my screen, you see that the sun is making the color shine a different color, but it also mm -hmm. changes the color of the glow. That's dope. Honestly, it's kind of dope. And you I can, like that. and I found that out with this vehicle in particular, and I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm like, yes, that that's that's pretty dope because you could change the color of what mm -hmm. it looks like when the car is basically shined on the uh, like oh uh, you, no, delete this, uh, delete this. Did I mean to spawn it? I forgot that I have the vehicle spawn on. I was gonna replace that with the other fast van let me turn off my replace vehicle go back so then we'll get my fast van back out and then basically see it's back to yellow and i didn't know that until i got the, it was this bus in particular that made me go check other vehicles out i'm like no way so you basically got to change your color three different times your primary your secondary and then your glossy color and your glossy color could change either if you got lines like this on certain vehicles that are modded or anything that's particular in the vehicle that's modded i saw that and i was like that's pretty sweet I'm like, like th I was like, thanks for this turbo uh, souped up bus that got me to realize that. Okay, all right. Now, next one looks like we got over here is a GMC Savannah. Um, and that's going to be used for basically our Vagos characters. Right, right. Uh, not too, yeah, not too sure when we're going to bring them guys out. It's basically a Savannah donk. Um, a lot of these you see a lot of these on the streets yes. as, as of today um the facts about it we got um uh, they've made these vans not specifically the donk the, the donk version would be custom but the van itself would be from 2000 to 2015 gmc savannah it came with two different engine styles which was a 4.3 uh, liter v6 or a 6.6 .6 liter v8 and uh, they're mostly a uh, travel capacity van. Um, there we go. 
Oh, look, even in the back. Here, you want to open up that other door? The other door doesn't open. Oh, well, damn, there's a downfall. But, okay, um, as I'm looking in the back of the door, I see a TV back there. So, in the back, in a, in a van like this, when you're traveling, you, you can have your kids or family. Oh. That, that's oh, the only thing that sucks look, about when you open that you, door. Don't you look at that? It's a suicide door <laughs> for the back. <laughs> a suicide scissor, whatever the hell it is, but... Um, it's not legit, but it is legit. I mean, it, it is what it is. As long as you have the other doors open and don't open that one, you don't notice anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But, I mean, yeah, hell, you could almost live out of this van. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, like I said, uh, later on, whenever this video comes out, you'll see in the description down below where we got most of these cars from. It all depends on the server that you're in, but in Indiana, I mean, you can get them from anywhere. You can get them from other places. So, yeah. Um, the PT Cruiser, one of my personal favorites. Um, I, I, I admire it. Um, and actually, this is a SRT version of the PT Cruiser. Yes. Not, not too many of them were actually made in real life. Um, I know that they've they've gone from PT Cruiser, which is a Chrysler product. It's also a Dodge product. Uh, a lot of uh, issues with a lot of these cars in general. In personal uh, perspective, they have a lot of computer issues and yes. chip malfunctions. Um, but it's they're a pretty beautiful good. style. Yeah, they're pretty good on gas. I've never actually seen a SRT style in person. Um, Me this, neither. This this specific uh, car can either range from 2000 to 2010. Uh, they've got four, uh, three different um, style engines. Well, actually four, I should say. 1.6 liter, uh, 2.0, and a 2.4 LS turbo, or a 2.4 LS turbo diesel, which I'm not sure if this one would be specifically diesel because obviously it doesn't sound like it. Um, but it's definitely got a pretty cool style engine as you see here. It's even got, if I look real close in first person, it's got the Hemi. It's got yes. the Mopar sign on there. It's got the double intake. It's got two, it's got one turbo over here. But it's, it's pretty badass. I even like on, if I'm looking over here, it's a 426. And it's, uh, the, looks like the, uh, elephant engine in there um i'm not too familiar with a lot of them but no. the uh, actual uh, la uh logo on the car of the pt cruiser it's pretty badass and i'm the, not gonna and, lie and the interior in first person if mm -hmm. you're driving the car some of it doesn't look legit the steering wheel is a little bit bigger but in first person looking at the interior it looks amazing it looks legit like oh, yeah. a pt cruiser i've only mm -hmm. ridden a few pt cruisers in my life but this looks legit it definitely does look legit, like for sure. And it's I, uh, pretty from spacious. what I was told by you, it is a drift machine. Yes, this is a drift machine. I was testing this out at the airfield, and I got in trouble mm -hmm. out of RP. They told me I couldn't be there. I'm gonna go to jail because, well, mm -hmm. well obviously, I'm not supposed to be at the airport. And basically, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this thing really—if you're at a red light, you hit the gas. This thing just wants to spin the tires, and it's spinning it probably for like a few blocks. And you don't get traction until after a few blocks. But once you get to speed and you start to turn, it's just you're going to start to drift. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's the handling of this car. Some of these cars, I know with the, the bug over there, the yellow bug that's Mickey and Dickies that they bought originally, that has a handle on the line of a motorcycle. Oh yeah, yeah. That one we've already tested out a couple times already. That if, if you even do like twenty to thirty miles an hour, you try and turn sharply, you're gonna flip it. Yeah, and it's ridiculous. Wh because whoever might have that one put the put the motorcycle handling line and threw it to that car because the engine sounded good, maybe, which is cool. But they just mm -hmm. threw it in there. Yep. But this one, I would say, here in the engine, it's got a little bit of a. A semi truck engine sound from GTA. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you started up, I was just gonna say it almost sounds like a semi truck. Yeah, if I get in, it literally sounds like a semi truck. And then it goes to sounding like a muscle car. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> but this thing's pretty cool, and I saw it, and I got it, and. Mm -hmm. All these cars are going to have for set characters, and maybe some characters may have multiple of them because 
Why not? But these are Why not? Our, these are our personals. Yep, these are our personals, and once again, I mean, we've personally paid for them. So if we yes. we were told by staff, if anyone is caught with any of these vehicles, now, honestly, I'm a, I'm gonna walk back over here to this VW van. The, that's a and that's a replace. This, I this get is, Yeah, yeah, it's a replacement for the actual van, which is a Surfer so, Two. I don't care if people use this one. This is the only one they got a exception to use. But the rest, yeah. but the rest of these are. They all have, yeah. They all have different spawn codes. Yes. But if you go into the game and actually spawn the surfer van, which will come up with the uh, slam style, and it'll have like the uh, the surfboards on top, and then the surfer two is the old rusty version. But that's the replacement of that. So that one I'm not too worried about, as long as they ain't got my actual plate on it. See, there you go. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the van. Yep, that's basically the van. It replaces the server too, as you saw that I spawned on my screen. So that mm -hmm. replaces in game. So if I see people driving this, I'm not gonna complain because yeah. that replaces it. But the rest, we gotta use spawn codes. Yeah, and AI. As I was out on patrol earlier today, I've seen AI driving around. Yes, they drive around. I, it, they look unlegit because I as I come up to them. They're literally like invisible until I actually pass the car, and then I realize it's actually the VW vans. But yes, so, yeah. But we're, the reason why we got these personals, and we're not gonna let other people use them because Indiana State Roleplay actually has it set up to where they have vehicles that I can't drive. So mm -hmm. if I can't drive some of the certain vehicles that they have, well, personal vehicles I buy, you just which they, can't which drive. they call as hot seated. Yeah, hot um, seated. Now. Continuing on with the uh, old school Cadillac we got going on here. Um, fun fact before I get into the actual car. This car is well known. A, a, a lot of you have seen the, the style of a Cadillac. Yes. And a lot of movies. I've looked them up. Um, this specific was used in Scream 2, Scary Movie 3, um, Friday as Pinky's car, and then a couple mob movies I can't remember off of hand. Um, this style Cadillac is a 1980 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. Um, it has a it has 106 horsepower eng uh, engine, which is 5.7 V8, and is a hydromatic tech. I'm not too keen on the actual word of hydromatic. I've had yeah. issues with that, <laughs> but um, uh, Cadillacs are very well known as boats, buses. They're 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 good. On, uh, they're good. They're like tanks. So yes. if you get in an accident. But You're they're good to also, go. <laughs> yeah, they're also gas guzzlers, yes. but they are also very luxury, uh, very hip hoppy, kind of classic and, nowadays. And, and they're good for the old people, man. Yep, and I uh, the way he's got it set up right now, consider and because I haven't fully modified mine. I mean, every, uh, both of ours are gonna probably have different modifications on it, as you see from his vehicles compared to my vehicles way over but, there. But then again, continuing on before you continue, I think we're gonna have you're gonna have to save the same exact vehicle I have because, as I said, you cannot change that plate. So when it comes back into the True. DMV and they say, well, why is the plate? Uh, coming up in the co and the vehicles a different color. That was the only problem I had with this vehicle because when I had I wanted this vehicle, I saw many different Cadillacs, but this one really caught my eye. It really did. And but the thing that sucks is, well, I'm I'm in first person right now, and you could see the plate if I crouch down a little, you know, come up to it. It says Michigan. You cannot change that. It is like a plate mm. that is just stuck on there. So you whatever that plate says with those letters right there and numbers. You gotta keep. You can't change wow. that. So that's the only thing that sucks. And but if anything, these this Cadillac is gonna go for uh, Lance Oliver, and it's gonna go to his buddy, uh, ain't it Haggard? Oh yes, Lance Oliver and William Haggard. Yeah, William Haggard. Uh, our old our old characters. So our who, old characters. So basically, they'll yep. just RP that they're from Michigan. Mm -hmm. And then when they left the retirement home, they left the retirement home from Michigan. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you'll you'll probably see a lot of them videos coming in sometime soon, but yeah, that's the uh, Fleetwood Cadillac. Very nice car. It's definitely a pricey thing back in the day, and it was used in a lot of movies and a lot of other stuff. And last but not least, Mickey's favorite, and probably one of my new favorites too. It, it is going to be the. Uh, Skeleton Springer Harley. 
um, if you look at it, if it did not have the skeleton on there, it kind of repl uh, replicates the show Mayans or Sons of Anarchy. The uh, guys have the ape hangers. It's bagged. It's got uh, fishtail pipes on the back. It's very luxury looking. It's very classic looking. You can do lots of modifications to it. Yes. Um, th this original is actually... Um, they started from Harley in 1988 and up to 2003. It's a soft tail Springer. Um, originally a 88 cubic inch engine V twin with, uh, I forgot what it was, but then, uh, nowadays they are a Milwaukee eight engine, which is 107 V twin up to 92.5 horsepower. Yes. I like I I like these style choppers. My dad's almost got someone similar. He's got a uh, 2009 Harley Road King, and some of them almost kind of replicate it. But a lot of the engines are almost the same. Um, you can do a lot of customizations, a lot of modifications to them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I dig this thing, and I haven't even test drove it yet. Oh. Well. I say spawn the one you got, and one we'll get rid of these vehicles, and we'll go for a little test drive. Yep, we'll start test driving these vehicles and show you what they're about, what they can do, top speed, and uh, likes, dislikes, pros and cons. Alright, so uh -huh. we'll start deleting vehicles one by one. We'll, we'll, we'll do the bike last. That'll be the grand finale. Okay. Team slash the... B. B slash D B T slash D B And mine are all registered so every time we, we uh drive them or whatnot, I'll just spawn slash mine because they're all registered already. That works. D slash D B. I think the only one that's not registered is the van. But we're only driving around here, so Yeah. Slash DB. Well, I definitely want you to drive that cruiser first. I'll let you do it then. Just in case. Alright, man, you can drive my car, man. Let's test it out. <laughs> oh, let's check out the PT Cruiser first. Yes, now I'm telling you, this one, it's got bad steering and handling. I and can already tell. The, it. The tires just want to spin. Hit the gas, watch, just hit the gas. And it, I, I, it, typically these cars are supposed to be front wheel drive, but if you look, the, just the front tire just starts freaking spinning. Yeah, when you go to a stop sign, when you stop, at a red light or a stop sign, you hit the gas, this thing just spins. And when you start going fast enough and you turn, it basically oh does no. that. Yep. Jesus. Can we flip? Nope. Cannot flip. Nope, cannot flip. I'll basically just respawn it. That's uh, it's definitely a downfall of one of the vehicles, but shit happens. But if you're just driving, you yeah. shouldn't really have to worry about it too much. Okay, so. Right. Let's see. Where are you at, Jimmy PT? There you are. Uh, if you can, get rid of that one. Let's see if I can. T slash DB. There we go. Woo! Run me over. But, yeah, but if you're just driving and you're not trying to run from the police, I would say this car running from the police would be a no go. Oh yeah, definitely. But if you're just, but if you're just driving around, and I think my future plan for this vehicle, I gave it to Jimmy to start off with, but he's probably never really gonna drive it as much. But I gave it to Jimmy to just start off with because I don't. Oh, he's just gonna rev the freaking engine and annoy yeah. Gene Davis. He's probably just gonna blow the engine and get a new car. <laughs> but I decided just to give it to him 
for the time being because I didn't know who to give it to. But eventually, I want to, like, I know for a fact Jimmy's going to have the bug and he's going to have the souped up VW bus. And the only okay. other person that's going to have a bug is going to be Mickey because he's got his yellow bug and then plus the yellow VW bus. But that's not the souped up VW bus, that's just the old school rusty style one that Mickey and Dickie are always going to be driving in where Jimmy's going to have that souped up one now basically as I said for this car I just gave it to him for the time being but I'm going to find a character that way I could split these cars I bought and they're for certain characters and certain characters only right that way when you see the PT Cruiser out you know it's for blah 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 or if you see yep. the Cadillac out you know it's going to be the old men or if exactly. you happen to see the vans out you know, Mickey and Dickie. And in mm -hmm. the future, there's a link I'm going to put down in the description of my video. It is a link to a hippie motorcycle that I want to get added for Mickey and Dickie. They need a motorcycle, and I found a hippie one, and they need one. Eventually soon, we will definitely... Let's see, look, I just, like, slightly turned. Yep, slightly but turned. Eventually soon, yeah, we're, uh, I want to get more vehicles. Um, another thing that uh, I've seen before you brought to my attention was a the AMC Gremlin. Yes, um, for Gene and Davis. That's, that's definitely going to be a must whenever I do decide to buy that because <clears throat> I've never been in a AMC Gremlin. Uh, my brother actually owns a 83 AMC Eagle, one of my personal favorites. I love that car. Oh, to it's fast. Death. It's fast. I mean, uh, they came stock as 4x4 four four all the way around. But, I mean, he took that off and put a bigger engine in there from a little small... 250 engine to a 5.0 five, uh, 5 big uh, small block from a 306 5.0 small block from a Mustang and he's been doing a lot of rebuilds on it but yeah it would just be cool to have that and a couple other vehicles um, there's a weed van um, I was talking to the uh, owner which is Levi Cooper of Indiana State Roleplay um, and I would like to bring in a couple MLOs which are add-on uh, buildings, property, stuff like that. Me and Mickey, for Mickey and Dickie, would like to open up our own little weed shop. I think that would be pretty badass for some RP. Yes, I would. You should turn around. Let's not go to AOP. No, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Um, but yeah, this is the cruiser. So how do you like the cruiser so far? I'm liking it so far. I, I like I said, it's just kind of, it's the handling is shit. It's yes, garbage. It I is. I feel like I would probably only do it to drive it around a block. I'm not gonna run in this vehicle. I'd probably take it maybe to a car show just to show it off. Yeah. And for NRP. I, I, um, basically, what I want to do for this vehicle, I want to set up for a character that's gonna be a character. But my my future plan is I want to have at least one or two characters for this game. They're going to start running the 24-7 and running the bar and stuff. So we can give some RP instead of us just trying to get tickets and whatnot. Okay. You can DV that one and I'll spawn my next one for you, sir. And the next one we are going to try is actually going to be in the vans. So we are going to go to vans and we are going to pull up the fast van, man. Now eventually, right. eventually for the future, I gave Jimmy one of these. But for the future, I have an RP ideal. So I gave it to Mickey. And, um, uh, I can't get in. Uh, let, me, let me flex my muscle and see if that was a problem. There we go. I just had to flex, uh, I just had to flex my muscle. But, yeah, but basically, with this one, I gave the RPI deal, because this is going to be what Jimmy owns as well. He's going to own the bug, and then he's going to own this one. They're both going to be red. But, basically, my RPI deal was is one day Mickey happens to go take his car to, and this will be in the future, way in the future, but he takes his car to Benny's. He says that he needs to get his brakes or something fixed. Benny says, I got you, I'll hook you up. And then he comes back like in the next day or two, and then this is what Benny gives him. <laughs> and he, go, and he goes, what's going Ooh. on? What's this? This ain't my bus. He's like, yeah, this is your bus, man. It went from this, it shows me like the before and after pictures, to that. And then, like, oh. Mickey, Mickey gets pulled over for speeding, and it's too fast for him, because this car is pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And it's got a better handling line than the other VW bus we have. But what I'm actually going to do is, hopefully nobody comes and bitch at us, because, I mean, since we are in-game, there's a lot of people. But I am going to start heading to Kyle, that way we can start doing uh, racing along that 
that freeway right there and full blast it and test it out. I'd be careful because I got in trouble the other day for doing that. And it's alright. I got in trouble at the airport for doing that. Then I went to Kyle and tried to do it and they said that I shouldn't be testing these cars. The one cop had told me that I shouldn't be testing these cars because he said that this ain't GTA. We're not here to do GTA speeds. We're here to role play. And he said, if you want to see how fast it goes, drive to the area of patrol. He was like, but if I'm behind you, I'm pulling you over. That's what he told me. Yeah. I'm bugging his ass. <laughs> I mean, technically, I already tested all these vehicles out at the airport, right. so. Right. But, yeah, I want to see what they can do on my end. Yes. Just for video references. Because he's never seen what it does on his end. I have seen what he's done. He hasn't. So, I didn't get in trouble when I saw, but I just got in trouble because I decided that I got the bike because the bike wasn't spawning in and I wanted to see how the bike did. And then I just went back and there was a cop there and he was telling me, if it, he wasn't going to kick me or anything. He wasn't upset, ladies and gentlemen. He just said, you come back, I'm going to arrest you. And when technically, I shouldn't be at the airport. So, I mean, he's got it. He, he's correct. He could arrest me. Looks I just... Like 127 is top speed for this van. I had this van while I was probably going downhill a little, but when I was testing it, I had it at 130. That's the highest I got it. Okay, okay. But yeah, handling line, I mean, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. but just don't do that. Yeah, just don't do that. Right. Then you'll be all right, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I think handling line's pretty decent on it. All right, so let's see. Now we're gonna go on to, since we tested out the, the van, we are gonna go down and get the uh, topless Jimmy's VW Bug. So we tested, how many vehicles so far, three? Yep, and this should be three. And then the last one's the bike, right? Mm, nope. Oh, no, the, the van. Uh, cat, the, 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 other caddy, van. the caddy and the van and then the bike. So we got three more to yep. go. Yep, caddy, van, and the bike. So Now um, this one's yeah, got better. This, this is pretty good handling right here. Yeah, I'm that not was, swerving it, all over the road. When I tested it, my theory was it took after maybe the sports classic or the sports and I'm, I'm very producing very highly speeds really quick so I feel like this would probably be a good getaway vehicle and since the uh, handling line is pretty pristine yes it might be good but if you end up flipping that car considering it's a convertible I would almost probably presume that your character is gonna die yes and if you look our heads are over the windshield so if we flip mm -hmm. we're hitting our heads first there is nothing protecting our heads Right, so I've got it clocked at 140 plus. Yes. Definitely great. I like it. Alrighty. Let's go get our next vehicle. Which the next one is going to be. We're going to get none other than. No, not that one. They basically got the similar names. There we go. And if you notice, or if you've listened to it, this one also has, it sounds like, a motorcycling engine in it. If I was to presume what type of engine this is, it's got Franklin's um, motor uh, engine in here. If you ever played story mode and you drove Franklin's car, this is basically what, in my opinion, it may be taking the uh, gist, off, gist off of, you know. Instant, instantly 130 yes, without this is even, this is a fast car so the old definitely so, so the oh old, my god i'm already at one 160 yeah so the old men are definitely going to be getting tickets and, and this is with with all modifications uh i don't think i put uh, i don't think i put all the engine mods on here oh my god i'm already at one 184 i may have put that, i may have put the engine mods on here but i don't think i did I'm, I'm guaranteeing I don't remember if I did. You mean you can go 190. 
192 is the highest I've just clocked this. Wow. Yeah, this thing's quick. Right? Holy now, moly. Now, on your end, you could check F1 and see if I did any modifications, but I don't believe I did. Let me do that. Um, vehicle options. I may have. I'm not I'm not 100% for sure. Uh, and uh, no. No, I, that's I, all stock. That's all wow. stock. Okay. That's all stock. Oh, I'm going to put it yeah. to four. I put all the four. Uh, Transmissions to four brakes are going to be four. We might um, go over 200, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, mm -hmm. I just basically just customized these vehicles. I didn't really customize them too much because I was just trying to hurry up and register them to me. So there we go. Test it out. I still like the handling line. It's not. It's not as crazy as the little bug was, but I feel like this would probably be. This is probably GTA handling line right here. Yes. And if, if we and if we could change the plate, I wish we could. I would definitely yeah. give the Vagos this car as well. Oh yeah. But we can't change the plate, so it's just for the old men only, I guess. But there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe in the future, uh, we'll, maybe in the future we'll find another one of these. One ninety. One ninety two. One ninety three. One ninety four. Yeah, one ninety four oh, is not bad. One ninety four. Wow, I like it. All right, all right. Let's go pull out the next one, which the next one is going to be. It's going to be the Vagos van. And then after that, we just got the bikes to test. Now, I really haven't really tested the Boggles van out that much nope. because this one okay. was having some issues with spawning. Um, okay. But once you gave me the code to spawn it, so I don't know how fast this one goes. I just basically drip it around the block a few times. Okay. Also, sounds like it's got a motorcycle engine. Handling yes. pretty Ar decent. Arca have uh, Franklin's uh, fucking uh, engine sound from his charger. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so, that too. Because I know a few of the muscle cars have this sound in GTA. Not all of them, but a few of them do. Well, right now, we're doesn't seem like we're going that fast, but we're cruising around 93, 94. That's decent. Uh, it's decent for at least, you know, a little bit of a getaway. And not especially, like, look at the wheels. Right. We yeah, should, we're not going to be going that fast in the wheels yeah. like this. I'm... Already at 102. I don't. I don't really see it going past 110. I'm. I'm barely just inching at 102. It's staying at 101 right now. So. But yeah. It's, but it's a decent car. The inside looks decent. I mm -hmm. mean, it's um, not 100% great. You can see some glitchiness, but hey. Yeah. It, it, the outside looks phenomenal. Oh yeah. And I think I only paid seven dollars for this van, so I'm not really complaining that much. Yeah, this one was on sale. It was originally to ten dollars, and then it was on sale three uh, uh, three percent off, so it was like seven dollars, something like that. Yeah, so but, I ain't complaining. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. And then uh, as far as damage goes, I mean, we're we're supposed to have no armor on, but so as far as damage goes. There As you go. See, I just he just broke, lost the tire. Real. I just lost the tire. Indeed. Uh -huh. And then other than that, last but not least, we're going to do the grand finale. Now, he's already saved one himself. So he's uh -huh. going to spawn his. I'm going to spawn mine. And mine. Do you have any modifications to it? The modifications, I believe, on this one. Let me go check myself so I can get people on my end. Mod menu. Uh, No, there actually is no engine modifications to it on this one. I, I remember, right. so the uh, the bike the, the bike comes stock. Oh yeah, yep, no stock. Uh, I'm gonna add turbo just to see if it does anything. I doubt it will, but I didn't add turbo to mine because technically I, this bike wouldn't have turbo sounds. Mm -hmm. But all right, um, on the count of three, we'll take off. I'll let you do the counting. All right, three, two, one, go. Now this definitely has some GTA motorcycle handling, so this handles pretty good. Does a wheelie pretty good? I can do a wheelie probably the whole way. Yeah, you could. <clears throat> you could do a wheelie the whole way. 
And actually, if I do a wheelie, it looks like I'm going a little bit faster. Yep, you go faster when you do a wheelie. It's like GTA, if you're doing a wheelie, it glitches and makes you go quicker. Oh my lord, and he is just hopping everywhere on my screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm still hopping, but I still got it under control. Yep, I'm just kind of in a straight line. I'm already clocking 121, 122. I'm at 131, 132. Okay. That's probably because I'm doing the wheelie. Yep. I think I, I, I think I reached 140 at one point. 130. Yeah, I think at one point I may have reached close to 140, or I did reach 140. I'm trying not to look because I'm doing a wheelie. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe I just hit 135 was the top that I yeah, was able to. I know, I know it was 130 something. And I made it all the way doing a wheelie. Yeah. Pretty cool bikes. Yeah. So, what do you think about most of these vehicles since this was your first time testing them out? I like them. I like them. Um, the PT Cruiser, I wish it would have better handling yes. for sure. Yes, for better, sure. um, no, like, and, like, not much acceleration. And it feels like it has a lot of torque. Um, yes. It's, I wish it's it really would be a little bit... Yeah, it's really drifty. That might be a nice car to just have fun, drift around, but yes. um, chill, do some stupid RP, you know. Have, 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 have a civilian that works like at the 24-7 or mm -hmm. the bar, and you just drive into the bar to go open up your Yeah, shift. we're just doing civ shit or whatever with it. But, yeah, no, um, no, no running from the cops or nothing. Yeah, same with, like, the... Uh, the van, uh, the, uh, the well, definitely, old van. De definitely the van, because I tried recording a video on my end, and I was going to release it for you guys, but I couldn't because they ruined it. And the van, they didn't let us do a pursuit. They basically hit us as soon as we ran. Yeah. And then, was... un unlegit, I walked out, had the gun in my hand, so they started to shoot me. So as soon as mm -hmm. they started to shoot me, I was like, man, they're going to shoot me. So I you know, I'm going to shoot back. And then they yeah. got me, so I said, yeah, they ruined that video. Yeah. I um... But, yeah. Out of all of them, I would have to say my caddy, uh, the cad Cadillac yeah, was probably yeah. my favorite the, so the, far. The Cadillac is my favorite, and then um, the v then the bike. And, then the bike I, would I would say, say I would say that I would say the caddy is my first. My number two mm -hmm. is the bus, and number three is the bike. Okay, yeah, I would I would have to say the uh, the caddy is first. Because that bike bus is handles perfect. good. Oh, the bus was amazing. Yes, but I, I I like the modifications. I like the style of the bike. But yeah, I'm I'm right there with you on on the bus. Um, the the slammed bus, I should say, and yes. that that uh, also the handling on the the convertible bug, I like that yes, too. Yeah, that and was pretty good. Speed, that that'd be that'd be my number four. Yeah, it would definitely. Um, the last one is the is the Vogels van. I like it because it's got pimped out rims. We got RP that we got drugs in the back and shit. But I was like, I like that one because of the rims and it could be like a gang van or whatever. Because I know sometimes like the ballers get some crazy ass fucking shit. So I'm yeah. like, why can't we get something crazy? But that, yeah, that'd be my last. That'd be at the bottom of all the vehicles that I bought. Now, um, but yeah, that's that would probably be my take on them vehicles. As far as the other vehicles that I paid 50 bucks for, uh, for uh, the hot seated ones, he's not too keen on that. I, I I get it. It sucks. It really does. Yeah, but they're supposed to be they're supposed to be your personals. But I I feel like they should allow anyone to use them but that's just the way they work in the server um, uh, that's how good. that's how they have this server set up just like yeah. there's certain cars that only admin mm -hmm. could drive which that's why i stated when i bought my vehicles now if dicky ever buys vehicles in the future that he buys on his own and he just buys them to buy them if he wants to share them but the ones i personally bought and even even that one bug and van i mean obviously the server van that's in the game people could spawn it it drives in around as ai but all the other ones like if people drive it i would be upset but if dicky allows him to drive the other bug he actually really paid for that one where i paid for these ones but like one of them i have right here is a uh, 70 camaro and watch, he wouldn't be able to if, he, if he gets out i'll get in and watch he'll disappear i'll say the vehicle's hot seated but then again uh, oh really oh then again i'm saving this thanks buddy okay. all right um, <clears throat> Thank you, buddy. Well, what 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 is this? That's what a, year? That's a yeah, it's a seventy Camaro. Okay, a 70. okay, that's uh, 
That's kind of weird because I could have swore that would have been hot seated, but um, who knows? Um, Spawn let's another. Try, let's try the uh, Grand National X. I think that's definitely hot seated. This is probably going to be hot seated. So watch. Yeah. Yep. So that's what happens when the vehicle is hot seated that he hasn't paid for or anything, or if I haven't paid for someone's vehicle because we you know we're civs or we're criminals we want to we see somebody like the uh the general lee you'll see a general lee driving around in here and it's staff only in quotations which so is bullshit. if you see them doing something you're like oh i'm gonna go fucking rob that car out of mm -hmm. rp because you're a criminal and you're stealing shit as soon as you get in that car disappears there goes the rp like i i'm pretty sure this one might be hot seated as well yep, yep. but at least that yeah. one wasn't yeah. So and he, then, he uh, gave me a, he, another good he found, he found this one the other day. I'm not sure. This actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's uh, actually a stock GTA car, but it, it looks like it's got armor on it because uh, so, the name of so, it so, is so this, Roboto Greenwood. So this car, I was <laughs> RPing as a salesperson. And mm -hmm. basically, I what I do is in my, uh, in my F1 menu, um, if you saw when I was going through, you probably saw some cars that had some weird numbers or letters or names and shit. I did it that way so I know, hey, those are some fucking cars I stole. And I just named them stole or stolen or, or just random numbers and letters and whatnot. And basically, they came to come buy some cars. They asked if they could take three of the cars that they had uh, wanted to use and take them out and drive them, test drive them. I said, sure. I walked out. And they were gone for about a few minutes. I walked out. I looked at this car. I'm like, man, this is a nice car. I basically got in the seat. As soon as I got in the seat, I was making sure it wasn't hot seated. I'm like, oh, this vehicle's not hot seated. So I hurried up, took it, and went GME and said, I take the car and basically gets it ready for next time so I could sell it. And it's registered to, I don't know who the guy's name is, but it's registered. And who, who is it registered to? I don't want to know. I don't want to care. Because that's basically for me to find out in the future. I stole the car. I don't know the guy's name. So in the future, I will find the guy's name out when I bring that salesman back and I start selling cars again. And then someone just happens to walk in at the wrong time. And I don't know that out of RP, that's one of their cars. And I'm like, what? What are you doing with this car? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I got it sent in and I'm here to sell it. Like, yeah, that's my car. That's not your car. Yeah, that's my plate. That's not your yeah, plate. So I don't know who owns it. That's for me to find out in the future. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, any car I see in the server that I could save and it's not hot seated, I will do so. Not because I want it. It's because I actually want to sell them in the future right. and do uh, criminal uh, stuff. Like this one, most likely this one's going to be hot seated. This is a, uh, I forgot what year. I think it's a 60, 65 Challenger. Yeah, this one's definitely hot seated. I think I tried to get one of these before. Yep. And then you have the uh, 65 Camaro as well, which is also hot seated. Yeah, this one's gonna be hot seated as well, which is fine. Um, That's why I say, if Indiana could have hot seated vehicles, my personals, no, you're not driving them. That's not fair. If you're gonna block your vehicles. I'm gonna block my vehicles. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, um, but if they ever see. come out and say, hey we're gonna let anyone drive these hot seat vehicles now and we're gonna turn the hot seat shit off then at that mm -hmm. point in moment of time i'm like okay here's all the spawn codes anyone want to spawn these go ahead but as long as they got hot seats in the car i could i could get in that i already got in that before yeah i think you already saved yeah, that yeah I, I saved that um, that one night when we're all at the 68 <clears throat> but yeah see. um this one i yeah. believe that one hot seated yeah this one hot seated <clears throat> i know for a fact Oh, wait, nope, never mind. It's not. I don't know, I'll keep. It's it's called a uh, Godzilla Ram. God, it's a it's a uh, lifted Ram. Um, okay, well, that's another vehicle I got. Uh, let's see. Let's try the uh, diesel Silverado. I'm guaranteeing this one's hot seat. No. No. So uh, yeah, diesel Silverado. Okay. Um, Dodge diesel. Oh, uh, this one you can spawn in game. Yeah. So I don't need that. Um. And these are actually some of them that I bought from the uh, the packs. 
Okay. Um, that's cool. Uh, which is kind of amazing to me that you're able to get in some of them. Um, RC Bronco, let's try this one. I think this one might be hot seated. Yes, yeah, I tried this one with you already. It's hot seated. Yep. Um. Hmm. Well, well, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it's Ben Diesel's uh, Monster Max, but it's hot. I don't. It's not hot seated, but it is. But you, the minute you try and get in it. Oh, it kicks okay. you back out. Yeah, it I, kicks you back out. I see. So it kind of is hot seated in a sense, or only mm -hmm. certain people could drive it, which it is what it is. But other than that, um, yeah, those are all the vehicles that I had personally bought, plus the two that he had bought before. And yeah, so other than that, um, we're going to bring those vehicles for future RP videos. I'm releasing this on my channel. It's going to be sometime either today, tomorrow, or the next day, but it's going to be really, really soon. And it's going to be just basically just an update showing you certain vehicles that we just bought and future things that we want to bring. We want to bring a weed MLO. I know mm -hmm. I showed uh, Dicky uh, as I'm going to try to get in his car and see if it's hot seated. It. I showed Dicky like well, one of these vans that have like an AC in the back. I said we can get it to keep. Ooh, okay. I'll save this one. But so we can get it and we can we we can RP that uh, basically um, that like we need to keep the weed cool down and not so it don't go dry and whatnot yep but we want to bring a few we want to bring some future things here to the server so i mean other than that um i'll try to save this one last vehicle if it's hot. oh okay let me see if i have any others um i know he won't be able to save these but uh part of the vehicles that i got which was a uh, quick fix towing. It's like a, uh, we could also do like a uh, towing stuff. Um, this is supposed to be like uh, roadside assistance, stuff like that. Um, a regular tow truck, yes. I believe he was I, already. I, I, already the yeah, yeah, I have that one already, which I prefer and that then, one other than you the other ones. This uh, ultra custom, I don't know what it in it. I don't right. know, but the front's not legit. I can tell you that. Yeah, I, I see that now. Some of them very aren't legit. Oh. And, wow, he can get in it. Okay. Okay, so maybe there are some vehicles. Let's see if I can go back through my list. Make sure everything... Uh, Maybach. Uh, no darts. Uh, Lowrider, Hustler, uh, do, do, do. Yeah, Dodge Viper, that is uh, restricted for myself, actually. Okay. Which, that's fine. I already have a Dodge Viper save that I could spawn in Wisconsin, so that doesn't yep. really hurt me. So, but yeah, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to conclude this video. As, uh, I'm not sure when it's going to come out. I'll probably actually release it immediately after I just edit it in, in the OBS studio and all that so you'll probably see it. this wasn't really RP-ish um, we'll probably no, it, stop it's this just, it's just basically telling you what's going to come in the future vehicles that you're yep. going to see for certain characters and whatnot. Yep, basically so so uh, if you guys ever have any questions um, not legit <laughs> <laughs> if you guys ever have any questions go ahead and get a hold of us um what is he trying to do now? Accept it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Get me out of here. I Get me out of I here. Can't, I can't. You can't, you can't, you can't, can't jump. I was trying to jump. I <laughs> you went can't jump. Water. God. Oh. <laughs> I tried jumping. All right. Well, I'm going to end the video. Later, y'all. Have a good one. Later. <laughs> Oh, I survived. I thought oh, I was going to die. We didn't, we didn't die. <laughs> all right, until next time, ladies and gentlemen. See you all oh, later.